data card filled up. What we hate is that sex controls everything. Um, what's another good example? Um, take a band that, oh, what's a really good example? In this moment is one of the most talented metal bands, if you like that kind of music. Even if you don't, the talent speaks for itself. Unbelievably talented, and they have a gorgeous lead singer. She can do everything from sing, to shout, to growl, to howl. She can sing campfire songs. She's amazing. What do we have on the radio? Is it in this moment? No. It's people like Kesha that have no musical talent whatsoever. And do not even get on my comment line and stick up for Kesha. Lyrically dead, musically dead, and the suck-ass music she does have, she doesn't even put together. It's terrible, it's made from prefab loops, it sucks. If you don't know what prefab loops are, look it up, it sucks. This is ridiculous, people. All the good art has been eliminated for sex. Now, what do I watch? I like horror movies. If the movie has nothing but topless people in it for the sake of nudity, that is not art, that is stupidity. However, I have no problem with Rob Zombie films. The TV show, I don't really watch TV, but I, I download uh, a series if I want to see them. I, cable TV, I, I haven't owned it for years and I don't miss it. Um, I have nothing against True Blood. I actually kind of like Dexter. There's all kinds of new people in it. There is art there. There is acting there. There is cinematography there. Look at the way that they filmed Miami. I'm not saying we need to go back to the days of Alfred Hitchcock, where they couldn't, <clears throat> you know, show certain things and Alfred had to find the most creative ways to film them. I am saying, as most conservatives say, that, or most libertarian conservatives say, that we don't have a problem with the shower scene, the knife going in, the nudity. Give us some movie, give us some art. And our country doesn't want any kind of art unless there is sex in it. If not, then it's immediately relegated to underground. That is what we are against. I can watch people have sex all day long, and I don't even think we should label things beyond the obvious. So, I mean, I am very libertarian in that regard. Number one, number two, another misconception. I have six of them. The safety net. We want to get rid of the safety net. We don't want there to be any welfare. That is baloney. What most libertarian-minded uh, people tend to believe is that you have th the federal government, the state, and the people. The people are paying the federal government who are giving the money to the states, who are giving the money to the people. Most libertarians believe that it is best to allow welfare in matters such as these to the states and the charities. Why the states and not the federal government? Because now you have to pay federal employees and state employees to dole out the money. Whereas if it is left to the states, the people in the state vote on these welfare measures that they will vote into place, just like they do now, only the federal government will not be in charge of it, which is what the Constitution says. It is an absolute lie that libertarians do not want a safety net. We don't want the federal government in it. Another lie. Survival of the fittest. Libertarians don't believe there should be any law and order, and it's total anarchy, and if somebody wants to rape your mother, then if your mother can't defend herself, then she should die. Untrue. No surprise there, I hope. No surprise there whatsoever. We do not believe in survival of the fittest. We believe in the exact opposite. We believe that you should be allowed to have a gun and as many guns as you want to defend yourself. We believe that we already have laws on the books against harming other people. We are against police telling us what to put in our own bodies, be it marijuana or raw milk. 
We are sick of the government and the police telling us how fast we can drive where, and if we're five miles an hour over it, they take a whole month's rent off of us to make money for the nanny state. We are against unwarranted DUIs. We are against telling us what we can build on our own property. These are the things we are against. And the only reason that we are painted as wanting total uh, survival of the fittest mentalities is because that'll make us sound crazy when we are the most sane speaking people who are even speaking about police matters. Four, separation of church and state. We believe that there should be the state out of all religion. Here's what we believe, usually. Governments, according to the Constitution, may not endorse a religion. That also means that government is not allowed to stop other people from displaying religions. Allah may have, in the middle of Times Square, an area all lit up for Ramadan, if they wish to do so. I am Christian. We have every right to have all the Christian displays all over. The government doesn't have the right to stop us, and the government does not have the right to endorse us. It does not mean no mangers in downtown. What it means is that the government is not allowed to endorse a manger downtown. Do you have that through your boneheads? Five. You don't want to outsource because you're greedy. You don't want countries like China and Mexico to do better. You want all the jobs in the U.S. all for yourselves. Hey, genius. Did we make Mexico better? now that we've sent them almost all of our jobs. If we did, then why are those factories paying Mexico's equivalent to slave wages? Are those slaves better off? Let me ask you another question. If all those jobs in Mexico have made Mexico so great, then why are so many people from Mexico trying to get here? We did not make their job better what, why are people in China who are working at the Apple stores making iPads and Apple computers, why do they have a suicide net around their building? Because they jump off of it to their death so often. Because we are, have sent our jobs away that were paying us good money and allowed other countries to exploit and destroy the lives of their citizens by paying them slave wages and the people that run the companies live like billionaires. Therefore, outsourcing destroys other companies and, I mean, other cultures, and it also creates elitism here. So we are not greedy. We actually enjoy many cultures, which leads me to my final misconception, that we are anti-immigration because we are racist. First of all, we're not anti-immigration, we're anti-illegal immigration. Now you can make the argument that we um, want, we actually want immigration to be easier and cheaper, but also mandatory. Those two are not mutually exclusive. Now, if a Mexican comes into our country, sneaks in, no ID, no passport, no work visa, nothing, and they shoot him, that is fine with me, because I'm a racist, right? Okay. If I go into Mexico with no passport, no visa, no permission, and they shoot me, I don't have a problem with it. I must be racist against me. That's where it falls apart. We do not want people in our country who we don't know who they are any more than they want us doing it to them. 
if we had a problem with Canadians doing it, then we would guard our borders. Does that mean that I hate white Canadians? I, there I am, prejudice against me again. Immigration is not a racial issue. That is the correct view, and thank you for listening to the correct views. Please donate if you can. I am trying to buy a laptop, and I can't buy just any laptop. It needs to be able to run a whole bunch of Adobe Premiere and effects and everything else. So donate if you can. Every penny that I get goes to this show. And without you donating, I have no show. Without you hitting share, no show. Your comments drive this show because it creates uh, searches. So keep leaving comments. I reply to all of them if I can. If for some reason you are listed as uh, blocked or spam, that's something YouTube's doing. That's not me. I have yet to censor anybody from the show. Um, there are a couple things that could lead to you being censored, and I'm not going to say what they are because then it's just going to make somebody do it. But um, I'm pretty open-minded. I mean, bring it on. I, I, I don't censor things. You are listening to The Correct Views. Support the show. Thank you. Good night. God bless.